Hi, my name's Jake and welcome to my YouTube channel. On this channel I unbox cheap technology and gadgets from places like Gearbest, AliExpress, eBay and even Amazon. On this rainy day I'm going to unbox and review the JTRON ELM327 car diagnostic tool. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. At 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to give away two Apple Watch clones to two of you randomly, so please be sure to subscribe. Without any further ado, let's get on with the unboxing. Okay, so basically the way this works is you need an OBD2 port on your car, which I think most cars have had since something like 2001. And then we can plug this in, it's going to communicate by Bluetooth with um, a Windows machine, that can be a laptop, a PC or a tablet, and hopefully the software is going to have a load of diagnostic features so that we can make sure that our car is working properly or diagnose any faults that we might have. So let's open the box and see what you get inside. Right, so we've got the dongle. Now obviously it's quite small, it says mini on it, and um, which is quite good really, so you can just store this in your glove box of your car I guess. Um, they do do other versions, ones that will connect to your computer via USB instead, in case you haven't got Bluetooth. And also in here we've got, we haven't got any instructions, we have got a little mini CD which has got the software and the drivers on uh, for this dongle. Right, so let's connect this to the car and uh, see what it can do. Now, I'm in the UK, so my car is right-hand drive and my OBD port is down the right-hand side of the driver's footwell. So making sure that we've got the dongle the right way round, we just plug it into the OBD2 port now there's lots of software that will work with this diagnostic tool, both free and paid for. I opted for a free bit of software called ELM Scan Master, and it's just a demo, but it seems to do most of the things that I need. Now this dongle requires a laptop, a PC, or a tablet running Windows. I just used the latest drivers that came with the device on a little uh, mini CD, and connected to it via Bluetooth using the Windows 10 uh, Bluetooth menu which is down here and then in the settings in the ScanMaster application I was able to search for and connect to the diagnostic tool. Once you've paired with the diagnostic tool if you go to the ODB2 here and click on connect and then click the connect button down here that's it, the tablet is now connected to the diagnostic tool and so now we can have a look at some of the features that ScanMaster offers. So there's a whole host of uh, features in this application. A lot of them aren't supported in the demo and also a lot of them aren't supported by my car. So the first thing is the vehicle information tab and then if you click read now this information isn't that useful and you can see that some of it's been blanked out because this is a demo. So then we have system status and a lot of these features say they're not supported. I'm assuming they're not supported by my car and if you had a newer car then you'll be able to run these tests. There's, there seems to be nothing I can actually do on this, it's just got a couple of ticks which is always a good thing um, to say that these things are supported and complete. It's done a comprehensive components check and everything's fine by the looks of it. Now this is really the main purpose of this um, diagnostic tool and that is the trouble codes. So if I now click, it's quite difficult to do with one hand, but if I try and click read now, it's going to read the diagnostic codes off my um, diagnostic tool and you can see that it says I've got no trouble codes. And so this is pretty useful. If you've got a, like an engine warning light on your dashboard, then these trouble codes should give you an indication of maybe what's causing uh, the warning light. Um, sometimes the trouble codes can be quite vague, but armed with these trouble codes, if you go to like a, an internet forum for your car, hopefully you might be able to shed a little bit of light on the problem yourself before you have to pay a mechanic to take a closer look. 
there's live data grid which basically reads all of these measurements which I guess are all the ones that my car supports Re reads them in real time so you can see how those values change as you're driving around there's a graph plotting facility so you can choose certain things like RPM well actually there's loads of things on here if your car supports them you can then plot them out in this and export them to a spreadsheet now you can also use this app to measure fuel consumption unfortunately my car doesn't support it so we've got this dashboard that tells you your engine coolant temperature your RPM your speed the time and the engine load air intake telling me the intake manifold absolute pressure that's not much use to me either but I mean if you knew what you were doing I'm sure that there's uh, some useful stuff in here in conclusion I think this diagnostic tool is great value for money it's a shame that so many of the features don't work with my car I think really you need a more up-to-date car uh, if you want to take full advantage of all of the features that this device has but certainly as a fault code reader <laughs> it's faultless I mean if anything was to go wrong with my car I would just plug in this fault code reader now a fault code reader doesn't diagnose all car faults but certainly if a fault code comes up on the fault code reader then that's a pretty good start from which to look up on the internet the kind of faults that can occur maybe that information will help you diagnose and fix the fault yourself or at the very least you could give that information to your mechanic all in all for this price I think anyone who's got a car with an ODB2 port should have one of these thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to be in with a chance of winning one of two Apple Watch clones when I hit 5,000 subscribers see you next time for another unboxing and review